Hey, this will be a video chart on ticker symbol MJNA. We will take a look at the daily time frame. This one has been kind of a back and forth type chart. Yesterday, you can obviously see the massive price action on uh, the, the news that came out. And then today was a pretty important day in the sense of, you know, is this just a, a one day type move based on the news or is there going to be some uh, more follow through to it? And after seeing today's action, uh, I'm not going to say that the case has been completely eliminated, but I will say that the case that this was actually a, a, a true, you know, strong move uh, has gone down quite a bit. I'll tell you why I'm not going to eliminate it totally, but. Uh, you know, when you see a, a massive volume day like this, see it close above the 200 day simple moving average and then have it gap up and then have it uh, after the gap up move and then come all the way back down there and close almost at the low. Uh, you know, it's not too confidence inspiring. Again, I'm not going to say that, uh, you know, the, it's totally off the table, but uh, for the time being, uh, you know, I'm, I'll am i say I'm, I would trend uh, skept skeptically uh, with this one. So. Why am I still, you know, not throwing in the towel completely and saying, uh, you know, that, that yesterday's move was just a one day type thing? Well, if we look here at our trend line and keep in mind, I simply just use uh, this low here and connected it uh, with this one, which did a good job of forecasting that one and did a great job of forecasting uh, that move right there. Uh, but this line is also the very important key level of support because as long as the price remains above here uh, the chart is putting in higher lows again from back here in uh, late June you can see that this support trend line is sloping upwards sure it's not probably as steep as some people would want it but uh, like I said as long as the price can remain above here uh, then I'm not going to totally rule out the chart but as far as a micro move and just looking at it from basically a you know a daily or hourly perspective uh, it, you know, there wasn't the follow through that I'm sure most people wanted to see after uh, yesterday, yesterday's, excuse me, yesterday's monster move. I uh, can't seem to talk today. The other thing that caught my eye was look at that big volume. Now, if this was just volume, uh, you know, much smaller than the breakout day, then that's one thing. But when you see this massive volume bar like this, again, not too confidence inspiring. So uh, just one of those things that you also have to take note of in terms of resistance levels, uh, first and foremost, the pink line here, which is a 200 day simple moving average valued at 18 cents. That is the first level of resistance that you want to see some closes above. And if it can close above that, then things are going to, uh, I think, hopefully turn around uh, pretty quickly. But, uh, you know, that's definitely uh, the first level there. And then you can see this resistance up here from the previous time I did the, uh, a video on it at 25 cents. So that is where the chart currently stands. Again, I'm not personally throwing in the towel completely, uh, but today's day was just not the type of day you wanted to see. If there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to sign up for a free newsletter up there. When you do that, you'll be sent a free ebook. And if you enjoy the video and want to learn more about charting and how to use it in your strategy as a trader, I'd encourage you to click below and look at our video course over eight and a half hours of education and teaching spread across multiple videos. It's been getting great third party reviews and testimonials. So I'd encourage you to make an investment into yourself as a trader and check it out. One more time, this is MJNA. Have a great Labor Day weekend.